What's going on with you? I'm just trying to figure out. You know what I'm trying to figure it out. You figure out? You know, you know your nationality? Sort of, kind of. What, what, what is it? I mean, I'm a black man. You're a black man. Look, 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 at, look at our boots. That's black. Your, your hair, your um, scully, that's black, right? Yes, sir. You ever seen a man walk around like that? Yes, that, that color? Okay, so black is a, a color in the crayon box that they put on us because actually we are the 12th tribe of Israel. That's right. All right, all right. So what well, we're going to go on with, we lost our true nationality, right? Go go to Jeremiah 17 for again. Number, number one, we just going to stay at Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 1 1. 28 1. 15 me. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses, this is Deuteronomy, is the book of Moses, right? So Moses is speaking to the children of Israel in the, in, in the wilderness. Let them know what's going to happen to them in four time, right? So you so you so-called African-American, right? So come over, come look at this sound record, just hold that. Yes, sir. You from the tribe? You be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Because of slavery, we lost our true nationality. All right. So over here, we got the um, the twelve tribes in the Bible. What God calls us. Then we have what we call in our slave master. All right. So now we're going over to some curses that happen to us. All right. Read. Keep going. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all His commandments, to do some all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses all these what curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so if you look at our uh, community today our people our society all we gonna curse people do you, you know what a curse is yeah. Yeah. is that good or bad? It's bad it's bad right so what in our communities what did you see in our communities that happen that that you see on the on a daily from social media from uh, in person or whatever, what you see? Blacks killing blacks. Blacks killing blacks. And, wh and what else you see? Negativity. Negativity. I don't even really get on social media because I'm, 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 I'm a humble person. Right. So I just stay to myself sometimes. I raise my kids and my family. Okay, so your family, you married? Well, getting there. You getting there? Yeah, getting there. So this is, um, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, um, show you something real quick. But stay right there. We're gonna do, 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 uh, do some more on your nationality real quick. Then I'm gonna let you know about the marriage thing, all right? Three. Verse 16, cursed shall thou be in the city. Now, all those things you just named, he just said, cursed shall be, you be in the city. You're from Statesboro, right? No, I'm from Macon. You're Macon. So it's about the same place, same thing uh, every place you go, right? Our, our communities killing each other, negativity, single parent household, uh, worse education, worse jobs, right? That's everywhere we go. You been outside of Macon, uh, uh, Georgia, anywhere? Yeah, I've been to Texas. Kentucky, the same. Where, where we located in Kentucky? Well, I was nowhere. They were full of, yeah, they were full of them. Yeah. yeah. So when you see our communities, where do you see us at, though? Are we normally in the high, high rise, high value places or the low value places? We always in the low value places. No matter where you go, read. And curse shall thou be in the field. So curse shall we be in the field? Now, take a back, son. Where will we curse that in the field? Come look at it. Where, where were we in like, uh, what, the 1700s, 1800s? Where were we? What were we doing? What were our people doing? Sad. Sad. Um, doing what? Picking what? Cotton. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You seeing in the slave movies? I watch them all the time. Which, what, what movies you watch? I watched uh, 12 years of slavery. Okay, so what were they doing out there? Pink Cotton, what else were they doing? What They was doing what else with them? How was they shipping them? Did they show how they were shipped off and anything like that? Nah, I didn't go that far. Okay, okay, they was doing... And what else they was doing? They was doing this right here too, whipping them and all this stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then, then they had um, yokes of iron on their necks. Yeah. They had, these are yokes. And that's all scripture to let you know who we I are. Seen, I seen that part when it was up under the city. Yeah. Right, right. There you go. They put our they put our history on there to, to, uh, to desensitize us when we when we come out here because it's in the Bible. So we see it enough, it'd be like, ah, oh, it's old. You know how long slavery was was on about 150, 160 years ago. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't a long time ago. We we, re we really just barely missed it. 
And what they do, they make it seem like it was just, it was black and white. No, that's still color. It was, it was right there. Read. Go to 48. Verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So it says we shall serve our enemies. With our enemies, who put us in these conditions? White man, right? And everybody in the other nation, right? And cause you go into our communities, it's not only the white man, he's at the top, but everybody up on the hill, they're also oppressing us. You know what I'm saying? We have, we have uh, stores in our communities with, by the Indians, by the Chinese, by Arabs. All those people is in our, in our community sucking us dry, feeding us bad food. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sleeping with our women. Right. Messing with our kids. You know what I'm saying? Because they know we're in such a low condition that we need money, food, and the things to survive. Even toilet paper and things of that nature. They use us for, for, for their, 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 um, their, their pleasure, the way they, the way they, what they want to use us, for, uh, our people for, you know what I'm saying? We, we used everywhere in the entertainment industry. Look how they uh, bring out our sisters. They go to the lords of the lords and put them on top. You see how quick they just rise to fame? You know what I'm saying? Like the Suka Hunters, the uh, Sexy Reds, the Cardi B's, all these other people, man. And we have like, we really have good entertainers, but they always push those at the very top because now they know that when our people look at these people, they like, hey, I could be just like that, but not knowing what they had to what they had to do to get in that position. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, I know you know, about, I know you know about Hollywood, Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff they do it with the Diddy, yeah. no Diddy. What what he's doing? What's he going through? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So once we get into these uh, situations, you know that we they use our people that's at the bottom, and then just like the in slavery, right? They take the ones at the bottom and put somebody at top. These are called taskmasters. They put them over our people to ruin them even more. Like Diddy, he's at the top of the food chain, but he got everybody else at the bottom of our people. So he's running everything. You know what I'm saying? So, where we at? What's that now? I said they do it in the church too. Do it in the churches also. You know what I'm saying? The churches are not teaching, teaching us this. That's why our people are in the uh, situation they're in now, because we don't know who we truly are. The 12 lost tribes of Judah, the blood of Christ, who the race, the people known as the race black, really are. This is who our people are, the blood of Christ. Verse 48, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. He said he's going to serve our enemies. Remember, he, he said friends. How y'all brothers and sisters doing over there? Nah, he just went. But he said he's going to serve our enemies, right? How do we serve our enemies? Huh? I said how do we serve them? Like, what do we do for them to keep society going? What they have, what we have to get from them. When you serve somebody, you got to do stuff for them to get some. Work and labor. Work labor, right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to serve them in um, what? Uh, he said in hunger, right? So where did you get your food from? Stores. stores. Who run the store? Do our people run these stores? Not really. Not really. And if they do, and if, and if we do, we're not going to, our people not going to help them. They're not going to go shop with them unless they get something for free. You know what I'm saying? We want to hook up with our people, but we'll go spend our last dime at the other people's stores. You know what I'm saying? He said, we're going to serve them in hunger, read. And in thirst. And in thirst. You get a water bill, right? Who run the water companies? White folks. Um, the, uh, the water, the water, um, where they make the water and put them in the bottles, the warehouses and all that. Who run those? You know what I'm saying? And they all, all the water tastes the same. You know what I'm saying? It's just a name on it, but our name is not on it. Cause we don't run nothing. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. When you talk about nakedness, where we get our clothes from? Clothing store. Who use the Who use to run all those on um, places? You, and what? But you gotta think about it, where they get the permits for to get these stores. It's always a man at the top of the chain. 
Even, even the Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Jordan at the top. You know what I'm saying? But his name, he don't run Nike. Nike get a percentage off all of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he, yeah, but he's trying to now. I, I saw what he's trying now to take it from Nike, but it's not going to happen. They ain't going to allow that to happen for it because that's a lot of that's a lot of money coming from that. You know what I'm saying? Go read. And in want of all things. In a want of all things. No matter no matter what we do, we're gonna have to serve these people in a want of all things. Like, what you think about we need on a daily basis that we have to get from these people? Money. Money? What about toilet paper? Yeah. We gotta get simple things. Yeah. Toothpaste, yeah. Uh, soap. Uh, what about you wanna get a car or a house? What you gotta do? Well, finance all you Finance and what they do to us when we go finance. Hey, they take it from you all, they give you some high ass interest rates. Right. No. They give you, they give you the, the the high on the high, because nobody they give you, they do that because they have all these um um applications or things you have to sign, paperwork you have to sign, right? Think about how much stuff you have to read on there. We ain't everybody, we ain't about to read all that, they, and they know that. You just, hey, they have, they have, we already explained it to you. You already just signed off. You got about a, a million things on that paper that we missed out. But we have to go to them for everything. What about death certificate? You ain't dead until they tell you you dead. Hey, my husband died. I ain't, I ain't seen no paperwork. He right there. So we had to go to these people for everything. Breathe. What's up? No, you do. And in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke up, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So he put a yoke of iron on our neck. That, that, so that let you know who these people are, who our enemies are. Would our friends do this to us? Because they'll, they'll tell us quickly to, to forget everything. That's a long time ago. Even the ones that, they'll be like, well, we ain't put you in slavery. We ain't have nothing to do with it, but guess what? They reap the benefits. That's right, bring it out. They reap the benefits of our pain, our, 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 our suffering, the, the, the um, killers of our brothers and sisters and our mothers and our fathers, you know what I'm saying? They also kill the image of our God also. Right. They took that from us. So that's not a friend. So, and, and it said, till we destroy it, right? So now we destroy it. Nobody know how we destroy it. Like, just like I said, they take our God from us, right? What color is Christ? Black, right? So you know that. So, so with this right here, many of our people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? You know where to find out that in the Bible though. That's the main thing. Do you know where to find that in the Bible? No. So you, you know, but somebody asks you, you gotta be able to prove to them that he is black because they'll tell you that. Grandfather, so we're gonna show it in the Bible, all right? Cause when they change that to this, we start following the homosexuality, bestiality, all the other crazy stuff that they do. Go to Revelation 114. So Revelation 114 is where you're gonna get the answer at what color Christ is when somebody asks you. Because it's important to know his color. They'll say it's not, but it is. Because you change his color, you also change his message. Right. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So what like, a lot of people like to say, when they say his head and head is white, they like to try to say his whole face is white. That's not going into that. They, you don't know, you never seen a white-headed man just walking around. His whole face is white and all that stuff. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head up here in hairs. The hairs on his head, hairs on the face was white like wool. So when you see an older man, older black man with a fro, what color is his hair? White. It'd be white afro. Breathe. That's why there's snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Before we go get that, we're going to say the, the white is the color. Wool, when you hear wool, that's the texture, that the feeling of it. Because you see a wool, you, you, you can see you can see the texture, it's nappy. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown, because what they like to say, he bronze color, but it goes deeper. You know, so a lot of people like, you be like, what color is Christ? He bronze. Okay, if he bronze color, who's those people in Israel? Even though they don't want to say black, who's those people up there in Israel? 
Why they, why they not black? All right, read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. If you burn anything, what color does it get? Black. All right, so that's Christ. Christ is a black man. That's right. Like I said, you change his image, you change his message. Go on um, Matthew 15, 24. Because Christ came for one people. It's the people on this side right here. It's you. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't want to tell us this because we are uh, uh, so, so, so caught up in bringing everybody in. We're the only people that want to bring everybody in into our nationality, but they, everybody want to keep us out. As long as we're assimilated and doing what they're telling us to do, they're fine with it because we don't know that we are the gods on this earth. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He don't say, say any other nation. So, go to Matthew 2 and 6. So, God... Christ has a people that he's come to choose, right? He chose a people. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art thou the least among the princes of Judea, of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. My people who? Israel. Everybody. Israel. All nations. Israel. Christ came from a one set of people. And these are the people that lost their nationality. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is youth.